Welcome back everyone to this weekend's vlog. Out on a farm you will have seen before. You met Bill and Judith with the Murray Greys. I admit I've got a soft spot for those little cattle and this herd in particular. We are taking some blood samples for BVD to check exposure in the calves from this year. And the calves will also be getting an intranasal vaccine before being sold to a private buyer. Now this is a relatively straightforward job, but I think you guys would be interested to see it anyway and this vlog's got a slightly different tilt there's a special significance for these farmers today i'll not waste any more time because i'm already late but i'll talk you through it in the voiceover let's go that's all the preamble you're getting i'm afraid because we are straight into it here and the first job of the day is a bvd check test bvd stands for bovine viral diarrhea and it causes a whole range of different disease syndromes in cattle. The way we monitor it is through what's called a check test. So we take the young stock, the calves from that year, we take blood from them, we look for antibodies to DVD. If there are antibodies, that indicates exposure. If we get a positive result, therefore, we go looking for what are called the persistently infected animals. Now, we're not expecting to find any positive results here, as Bill and Judith have been accredited for many years, but it's all part of the due diligence. To be accredited, you have to do this annual test to prove that the herd is free from the disease. Now these head scoops are fantastic for this job, this intranasal vaccination. Stops them wiggling their heads around all over the place. No, you're hiding there, Bill. <laughs> cool. While we're talking about intranasal vaccines, let me give you another three letter acronym and that is I are and that stands for infectious bovine rhinotracheitis. It's another really significant viral disease of cattle in the UK and beyond. Like BVD it can present in a number of different ways but it is primarily a respiratory virus and that's why there are intranasal vaccines against it. There is evidence to suggest that vaccines when given intranasally, that is into the respiratory tract, they generate better local immunity than when a vaccine is given into the muscle. Now this vaccine in particular is actually licensed to go either up the nose or into the muscle. There are pros and cons of both routes of administration. The best person as ever to discuss that with you keep cattle is your vet. As discussed, the head scoop does make administration of intranasal vaccines much easier. One of the benefits of intranasal vaccines is that they tend to give quicker onset of immunity. That works out well here because these animals are being vaccinated prior to travel. Travel is often a stressor for cattle and can predispose them to suffering with disease such as pneumonia. Therefore, by giving this intranasal vaccine shortly before sale and travel, these calves should be well protected for that stressful period. Oh, 
YBR vaccine is a live vaccine. That means we make it up on the day. It comes in two parts, a solvent, which I'm drawing off a little of there, and then there's a solute, which is a freeze-dried pellet containing the active ingredient. I use my little bit of drawn off solvent. I mix it with the freeze-dried pellet, make sure that is fully dissolved. I draw off my dissolved mix, making sure to get every last drop. I load the bottle onto my gun and then we are good to go. So next up are the 2020 calves. These are about 18 months old. We'll call them yearlings. They're not getting a BVD check test, but they are getting the IBR intranasal vaccine. I said at the start, this was a slightly special vlog. Now, Bill and Judith have been stalwarts, champions of this Murray Gray breed for decades. They would normally sell these 18 month old animals live through the local livestock mart. This year, they've made the decision to sell all the calves from both this year and the previous year direct to a private buyer. That's significant because they're not going to have any Murray Gray calves going forward. They replaced the bull this year with an Angus. Don't get me wrong, they'll still be calving cows. It's a cracking Angus from a local breeder but it does represent a significant change in direction and I know for a fact that these guys had to think long and hard about it. Now British farming is going to be changing rapidly over the next 5, 10, 20 years for all sorts of reasons. Changes in subsidies, changes in market access, changes in social license and these guys will not be the only ones having to confront some difficult decisions in the years to come. So that's all of them done, that's the 2021 calves snorted, that's intranasal vaccine and blood sample for BVD. This is the older group, so that is the 2020 calves, about 18 months old now, all looking good. All of them have had their intranasal vaccine for IBR as well. And um, yeah, relatively painless, I would say. Right, that's all those jobs done. Cattle all back out to the fields where they belong. Now, I've got a special message for someone and her name is Beth. Beth is Bill and Judith's granddaughter who I'm told watches the occasional video of mine. That's very kind, Beth. Hope you enjoy this one. Your grandparents are legends for putting up with me 
and they also have the best biscuits. So this video is dedicated to Beth. Until next time, see you then.